tutorial. Hi everyone, my name is Lupita and welcome to the Cookie Couture. Today I'm going to share with you how you can make edible lace. So let's get started. This is what we're going to be working on today. We're going to make some edible lace. And what you can see on the screen is the set that I bought a few years ago. It's a mat where you're going to put the mix that you are going to prepare and in the mix it comes a little container of glycerin and the mix that it's already prepared okay so the only thing that you're gonna need you're gonna measure some of this mix and then the glycerin and you're gonna mix and then you're gonna spread it on your mat okay and then you're going to bake it at 1-800 Fahrenheit degrees for about 10 to 13 minutes and then you're going to let it cool. So let's get started. Let's see how it will look. The set comes with the recipe of how you're going to prepare it, okay? So it's something that is very, very simple to do. So first, you need to preheat your oven to 7 to 80 Celsius degree or 180 Fahrenheit and then you're going to put 50 milliliters of water into the bowl of your mixer okay and then you're going to add 4 tablespoons of this powder and you're going to mix for a little bit and then you're going to add the glycerin that is the part B of the set okay so let's measure our things and we'll see I'm gonna prepare double the amount because the other time that I made it it didn't cover the whole mat so for this time I want to do it all together so I'm gonna to prepare two measurements okay so we're gonna pour a hundred milliliters of clean water and then you're going to put Eight tablespoons of your powder mix. Now we're going to mix on high for two minutes. that is the glycerin and we're gonna mix on high for four to six more minutes I always like to put a little bit more of the glycerin because a lot of it stay on the teaspoon so I'll just add some more and then mix soft and I think so it's ready so let's put it on the mat very well so I'm gonna spread the mix as you can see it looks super super nice and smooth so I'm gonna spread it all over my mat and then I'm going to Spread it all over in all directions. And then we're going to shake the excess, not shake the excess, but take out the excess with a spatula.
now let's spread it all over so the thing is that you need to put it in all directions so all the little designs of the lace can get covered and one thing that I like about this is that it doesn't dry as the royal lacing so you can really take your time and work it because you know with the royal lacing starts to dry and then you cannot do anything and I put the mat on a baking sheet so it will be easier for me to transfer it to the oven when it's ready This lace is perfect for wedding cakes, wedding cookies, decorations that you're going to want to do for Christmas, like gingerbread houses or gingerbread cookies. And obviously if you want to do a tutu using lace, you can do it or a ballerina cookie or a handkerchief or a wedding dress, oh my goodness. Anything that you will use a regular lace, you can use this kind of lace, so it's, it's awesome. So try to do like this, so it can cover all the little dents. Now, I'm going to start scraping. It doesn't matter if it goes out of your baking sheet because whatever you're going to need is the thing that is going to stay on the mat. So don't worry about it. I'm going to do with this little spatula and then I'm going to use a metal one. If you have a big spatula like the one that you use to make fondant or cakes, you can use it because in one stroke you can get a lot of In Texas, where I live, it's super humid on the summer, well, all the time. So I'm always a little worried about the the things that are not going to come out nicely because of the humidity. And today is a very humid day. So I am cross fingers. Okay, so now with this metal one, we're going to do like this. Try to use the same pressure, kind of, if you can. A 
as you can see it here is start coming out from the mat so it is ready now we're gonna let the mat cool off like about five minutes now the lace is completely cool so now I'm gonna turn the mat this way and I'm just gonna start peeling as you can see I'm just gonna start peeling the lace so it will lay flat on a surface and don't expect that all the lace is gonna come out like so nicely the first time because it takes practice and it takes a little bit of you to know how your the weather, the oven, and everything. So, just be patient. are some examples of how you can decorate cookies using edible lace. I made these cookies like maybe five years ago and I still have them because they are one of my favorites. They look a little bit old but the lace still look nice. And also here you can see the texture of the edible lace is similar to a chantilly lace. It's beautiful and the cookies or cakes that you're gonna make with them they will look super super nice. When your lace is completely dry, you're going to put it in between parchment paper and then you're going to put it in a sealed tight container so it doesn't get any humidity. cookies, cakes and many other bakery stuff and I hope that you really enjoy it and um, that you please subscribe to my channel, push the notification button, share it with your friends, leave me any comment or suggestion that you have and I will be very happy to answer them and also thank you very much for your comments and please if you want to follow me on my social media in the link below you can see my Instagram account and also my Pinterest account. You will see some other stuff that I share there. So please follow me and I think so that's it. Thank you very much for coming again and see you next time. Bye bye.